Hello guys, welcome to Top 7 Ninja. On today's episode of Top 7 Ninja, we want to look at 7 celebrities who had gone to prison. Before we get into the video, if you are just seeing this channel for the first time, please smash the subscribe button and hit your bell icon so that when we upload a new video, you would be the first person to know. Oftentimes, we hear of top US celebrities being jailed for their misdemeanor. The likes of R. Kelly, Chris Brown, Lil Wayne, and many others have had their own share in prison. Likewise, in Nigeria, where the law seems to be selective, there have been some celebrities who have graced the four walls of some notorious prisons in the country. Here is the list of seven Nigerian celebrity ex inmates. Number one, Assis Addition of Fashola. Assis Addition of Fashola, professionally known as Naira Mali, is a Nigerian artist who rose to fame in 2018 with a remix of Issa Goal, which features some popular celebrities such as Olamide, Faust, Simi, and Lil Kesh. Naira Mali was arrested by EFCC for alleged money laundering just a day after the release of the song Amari Yawu Boy. He was given 11 counts charges and after spending weeks in Ikoyi prison, he was then arraigned in court and granted bail for 2 million naira. It seems Naira Mali is used to going in and out of prison because he wasn't even faced about the old prison saga. When he got out of prison, he made a video online where he said he had been to prison 124 times in the United Kingdom where he grew up. Wow, these guys are one by inmates. <laughs> LOL. The Nigerian rapper Rao John Njeng Njeng, who is popularly known as Kills, had once been arrested alongside his manager Osage. It happened that Kills, who was signed to Baseline Records in 2016, defrauded his record label. He and his manager were accused of diverting the funds meant for the record label. According to Baseline, they were making funds that weren't documented. In the long run, Scales was eventually released from the station, but his manager spent longer time with the police before she was let go. So that day you not carry me killing my best one. You go for him down me. Go bear him. Go to back so nowhere. Kill that boy, Papa. I'm not worried about him today. Number three, Yetunde Wumi. Taiwo Akiwande, professionally known as Yetunde Wumi, is one of the pillar actresses in the Yoruba movie industry. She was arrested in October 2006 by officials of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency for carrying cocaine. She was caught with cocaine on her way to London as she was about to board a Virgin Atlantic plane at the Murtala Mohammed International Airport in Ikeja, Lagos State. Yetunde Wumi was then sentenced to three years imprisonment at the Federal High Court after confessing to having carried cocaine. Let me say honey, oh, Number 4. Dami Crane Johnson Oindramola, a Nigerian musician popularly known as Dami Crane, was arrested on Friday, 2nd of June 2017, in Florida, United States of America. He was charged with theft, fraud, and credit card scam. It happened that an American jet company named Tabjet accused Dami Crane of using five different credit cards which did not belong to him while trying to book a private jet with them. He was however released from jail in Miami after paying a whopping sum of $2,500 for his bail. He pleaded not guilty to the charges against him and demanded a trial by jury. The singer was then assigned an attorney and was scheduled to appear in court on the 23rd of June 2017. In the long run, in August of 2017, the court withdrew all charges including credit card forgery, armed robbery conspiracy, and grand theft filed against him. I don't understand. Is it true? Don't you see that I'm calculating money? Number 5. Uche Odoputa Uche Odoputa, an award-winning Hollywood actor, had once been arrested with cocaine at the International Airport in Lagos back in 2007. The actor, who was later sentenced to eight months in prison, said he wasn't getting any major movie roles that paid him well and he could not afford to feed or accommodate himself and his family. Uche Odoputa said he was introduced into the drug trafficking business because he thought he could drastically change his living conditions. He said his major regret was letting his family down and allowing his London friends take advantage of his situations by convincing him into the act. Number 6. 
Ibinabo Fiberisima. This celebrity case we are about to discuss has to do with the death of someone. Ibinabo Fiberisima, a Nollywood actress and an ex-beauty queen, was charged to court for manslaughter and reckless driving after she accidentally killed a man named Giwa Suraj in 2006. Giwa Suraj was said to be a medical doctor at the Lagos State Teaching Hospital. Ibinabo was arraigned in court in 2009. This incident also affected her career as she was sacked as the president of the Actors' Guide of Nigeria on the 16th of March 2016. Ibn Abor was however sentenced to five years in prison by a federal high court sitting in Lagos. She was granted bail in the sum of two million naira with two shorties on the 7th of April 2016 by a court of appeal in Lagos. <laughs> Number 7. Lola Margaret Lola Margaret, a Nollywood actress, film producer and director, was reportedly arrested in the United States of America for wired fraud. According to a source, the Yoruba actress had suspicious amounts of money wired into her bank account. She constantly withdrew the money which caught the attention of the police. She was arrested and taken in for further questionings, and she also confessed guilty to the alleged card fraud. The Bisola Alanu actress was charged to court and sentenced to prison. In 2018, she was freed from the prison but deported back to Nigeria. Probably due to shame and public backlash, the actress decided to relocate to Ibadan from Lagos and maintained a low profile since then.